John Moore reporting for SportsMoore.com from the Halifax Metro Center as the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League playoffs just around the corner. I'm joined by the Mooseheads captain Travis Randall here. Travis, uh, you are just one of two players on the current roster to actually have tasted the playoffs here in Halifax. Tell us a little bit of the difference between the regular season and the postseason. I think it's uh, definitely uh, it's more intense for sure, Johnny. Uh, and just like you, well, you notice the difference even between preseason to regular season and regular season to playoffs. Uh, the level of play is much more tight. Everything tightens up. It's quicker. It's uh, more intense. I think the intensity is uh, definitely a big part of it. You and Pascal Emia, the only two players, again, to have participated in the postseason. How do you get that message across to your teammates? Uh, you know, just I guess we just try to speak of our past experiences, uh, you know, and both of us played on very good teams that year. Both of us played, uh, you know, I played here in Halifax. He played with St. John, who had a really good team. Uh, you know, uh, we just try to tell them from, like I said, our experiences and how tough it is and just uh, it's not always the best team that's going to win. It's just uh, I think the team that gels together the best in the playoffs and comes together as a team. The underdog rule, obviously, you're going to be heavy underdogs regardless of, of who you play, uh, and that sometimes can set up well. Uh, for sure. You look at, uh, I know from uh, Gatineau had a real good team, a couple good players, you know, a really good line, And you, but you look at their top pairing defenseman was 16, 17-year-old. They had a good 20-year-old goalie, and they just came, they played well as a team, and they ended up sweeping us, which I think one of us, probably on paper especially, we were probably one of the best junior teams uh, in major junior hockey. Finally, I guess uh, the... Uh... <clears throat> The haircuts have begun. I see you've already got a jump on, on the ritual, the playoff ritual. What else can you tell us? Uh, I think uh, we might be going blonde, uh, but uh, I guess we'll uh, wait to see what happens here. But And a few guys few guys want to keep their hair, so we le left the haircuts as mandatory, but uh, color is uh, something. Uh, color will be mandatory? Color will be mandatory. The cut will be optional. Okay. What about facial hair? Facial hair as uh, uh, a no-go, I think, uh, from, okay. from Bobby. So... Uh, will be clean shaven just like all season. Who makes these decisions? Is it a, t a team committee? Is yeah. it in the room? Yeah, it's a bit How much of a, does the captain have to say in this? Uh, we had a team vote on what we wanted to do because uh, a couple of the guys have been growing their hair all along. You know, Francis Turbide, uh, Conrad Albuchauser, and they didn't really want to cut their hair. So I guess a little fair if we colored our hair, at least they can dye it back. All right, well, we'll be watching. Thanks for this. No problem. Captain Travis Randall, my guest. I'm John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com.